Hi guys, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to build simple uh, CompuSol simulation from scratch. Previously I showed you how to run a simulation which was ready, which was pre-written. Uh, but this time I'm going to show you how to actually write the simulation. So, the best way to do this is to open command prompt and instead of starting Composol 3D, we start Twidit, which is Composol 3D Programmer's Editor and Simulation uh, Wizard, so to speak. So I'm going to type Twidit, plus plus, and the application starts. So in Twidit, plus plus, we go to CC3D Project menu, we open it, and we choose new CC3D project. The Composite Simulation Wizard will pop up and we have to fill a few um, things here. Simulation name, I'm gonna call it My Cell Sort. My Cell Sort. And uh, we have to also specify simulation directory. In my case, um, it's already pre specified. So, uh, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna click the browse button and I'm gonna navigate to. Uh, I'm gonna actually change the simulation directory. I'm gonna go to my home directory. I'm gonna make a new directory called CC3D demos. Demos, okay. So I made this directory and now I will select this folder. Okay. Now uh, in the low, um, sorry, uh, bottom left corner, we have three options. We can either generate XML only simulation, we can generate Python and XML, a simulation which consists of Python scripts and XML files, or Python only. Uh, XML-only simulations are almost always useless. They, you won't be able to do uh, any serious research with them. So choose either Python plus XML or Python only. I will stick with Python plus XML. We, on the next screen we select general simulation properties. So the lattice is 100 by 100. It's a 2D lattice. Where it's a square lattice. We can choose hexagonal if we wish. The average membrane fluctuation parameter is set to 10. Pixel copy range uh, is set to 1, but we'll change it to 2. Number of Monte Carlo steps is set to 10,000. And the initial cell layout is uh, rectangular slab, so we'll leave it like that. Next, we have to specify cell types. So we'll, our cell types uh, are simply strings. You can call them anything you want, except medium, which is reserved word in CompuCell. So I'm gonna, uh, so my cells will be condensing and non-condensing. Condensing, add cell type, non-condensing. Uh, the type names, cell type names are case sensitive. Uh, we can also create, uh, we can also freeze certain cell types, that means that those cells of those types will not participate in pixel copies, so they will be frozen, literally, uh, throughout the simulation. And let's not do this at uh, this time. Then we click Next, we can specify chemical fields. Uh, I'm not going to specify chemical fields right now, I will do it in the subsequent tutorial, or maybe at the end of this tutorial, so I'm going to click Next. And here we have to pick cell properties and behaviors. So for cell sorting simulation, the key, uh, the key feature or cellular behavior that, uh, that drives cell sorting is the adhesion. So we choose contact uh, plugin, which implements uh, cell cell adhesion. We will also impose volume constraint on the cells, and we choose volume flex. And, well, as you can see, if you hover a mouse over a uh, over any plugin, it displays uh, some information about these plugins or those composite modules which implement cellular behaviors. So I'm going to choose uh, 
about flex and, and I'm done. This is it. I just click next. I ignore the next screen and uh, I click finish. So as you can see on the, uh, in the left panel my simulation uh, project is ready. I can open it. I can expand the, the, the tree view to see what files there, uh, there are in this project. If I double click on the on, uh, on the uh, on the top level widget of the project, my cells of 3D, CC3D, sorry, uh, all the files that uh, are part of the project will open up in the, in the editor. So we have our XML file that, that was generated for us by Tweeted. We have basic, uh, we have main Python script and stable file. All right. So now we can run this uh, file. Uh, there are many ways to run it. You can open another terminal and run CompuCell, or you can simply right-click here at the at the. So you you position your cursor cursor at the top level of the project. You right-click and you choose Opening Player. So if you open the player, simulation begins to run. Okay. Now, uh, this isn't, this doesn't look really like a cell sort. Well, the reason for that is that uh, the parameters that Tweeted puts in the XML file, or, or for that matter, any file that it generates, are some default parameters, which in most cases have, uh, have to be tweaked to have uh, meaning, or to, in order to have simulation do what you want it to. So in my case, in our case, uh, we'll have to change the contact energies between uh, different types of cells. So condensing cells are uh, strongly adhering cells, so their contact energy is lower as compared to other energies. So we we'll, we'll just set them set this value to two. Non-condensing uh, cells are they do not adhere as strongly as condensing, so we'll set uh, the value to, let's say, 13, the value of condensing and non-condensing is 10, and to make sure that cells do not uh, dissociate into medium, we'll set the contact energy between condensing and medium and non-condensing and medium to some higher value, 16. So uh, the rule of thumb is that if, uh, if the contact energy between cell A and cell B is high, those two cells don't like each other. If the contact energy between cells cell A and cell B is low, those two cell types like each other. Okay? So by setting higher values for uh, contact energies between medium and condensing, I ensure that medium and condensing cells and medium and non-condensing cells don't like each other. So that means they will try to minimize their contact energy. We will see what that means when we run the simulation. So I'm going to save the simulation. I'm going to stop it in the player and we run it again. So this time, hopefully, we'll get some kind of sorting uh, after the simulation runs for a few more uh, Monte Carlo steps. The simulation is quite slow here because uh, because if we look at the output to the console, every Monte Carlo step I'm printing to the screen the number of I mean the, I'm printing some informations about uh, about the simulation. So I'm printing all the cell IDs of, of every cell in the simulation. So I have 144 cells and each Monte Carlo step I print, uh, I, I enumerate them and print this information to the screen. And this is slow. So uh, if you ask me where uh, this information is actually printed or which files file is responsible for it, it's obviously the Python steppable file. It's this line, print uh, print cell ID equals cell ID. So I'm gonna, for simplicity, I'm gonna uh, comment out those lines in Python and rerun the simulation and you will see 
it will go much faster. So as you can see, our uh, cells begin forming uh, domains. So uh, blue cells cluster uh, together, and so do green cells. So that's that's just very simple source of simulation. I can tweak the parameters further, but the point of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to use tweak it, not how to choose uh, POTS model parameters. So I think uh, this is all for now, and uh, I'll see you the next tutorial. Okay, thank you.